Hello everyone, how is it going? Today we have a build order in Forbidden Pass. As you can see, no reclaim, only trees. This is a very air heavy map. Um, definitely the water doesn't matter that much, so no navy, but definitely big on air. As you can see, land has a difficulty coming in. But I'm gonna talk more about that after I do this and we're gonna start with factory pigeon for mexes then you want to do egg engines and then tank scout tank scout then after this we want to do four pigeons um, air factory you can probably do it like this then another pigeon land factory then we are first engineer we want to come here reclaim a little bit of this as much as we can probably take uh, and that, that should be enough then come here and then come here we are next engineer let's take like two th trees from here and then let's see if this one is still here then come here and then let's do that we are third engineer we're going to come here actually so i'm gonna move this here now and he's gonna take this, this, this. I'm gonna make him take this too, because I don't want to stall energy. Then we're gonna come here. Then we're gonna come here. Hopefully I'm not stepping on no trees. Then come here. And then da, 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 da. And then we are fourth engineer. We're gonna start assisting the ACU. Then we are next engineer. We want to make sure once we're on the fifth engineer, we want to like do attack move here. Probably here could be better. Oh well. And then after that one, we want to do an attack move here. Uh, probably, uh, I can move this factory here, hopefully. Then you catch it. And with air, you just want to do... You can use a bomber if you want early on, but I'm gonna go with what Tagada does, which is... I believe he does... Inti, air scout, two inti, so three inti per air scout. And then after this one, you want to make sure the next one comes here. We did grab a little bit of extra energy, so we might not stall for a lot. Tagada stalled. Oh, we want to be assisting here. Tagada does stall for a little bit, but not for a lot. Like, yeah, we're stalling a little bit, but it's okay. Nothing crazy yet. Um, put your waypoint probably like around here. It's all good. We stalled just a little bit. And about this time, you want to move the ACU here. Click here, and then you want to come here. Yes, you can come through there. You do not have to come through here the long way. I didn't know this. And then usually with your air scout, you want to examine this area. Now we have our first tank, and we have our factory. Actually, with the factory, you want to do RT, scout, five tanks, and put it through here. Because we're gonna, since we are Sarah, we're going to move that RT through the water. And if you are A, you can do the same thing. Then this guy, I'm gonna move here, here, here. Then the other end, you move here. Then with us, oh, shit, this guy's following the ACU. Well, that's not gonna be a big problem, I guess. Not annoying, but with this guy, we want to make this. And then I believe. How does he do it? Oh, I forgot already. I think it's. I think it makes an air factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He makes air factory. Then I think he starts making like surrounding it with pigeons. And here, inties only. And that's sort of the view. Then you want to grab one of your engineers here and move it through here. I'm a little bit late on that, but that's okay. You know, it's not a perfect thing. And then I have this idle engineer. I guess you can assist him maybe. I have a little bit too many engineers, then you guys can move here, then this can move through here, same with this. I think this engineer is doing too much right now. Then with your air scouts you can put around, this is pretty much the build order, oh, I forgot I wanted to move this RT through here. Well it's very basic and this is pretty much it later on it's 
we are gonna want to start building factories here with the ACU and depending on how many land factories our opponent builds here we might want to build more but other than that this is pretty much it you want to ensure this engine is protected if you catch an enemy bomber obviously take it down with this guy we can go something like this and I don't think there's anything gonna come out of here but this all looks pretty good do we have our engineers building the E? yes we do so I think I'm gonna probably like build a couple of should I do it? yeah I think building a couple of land factories isn't gonna kill anybody then I'm gonna put a couple around here as well and everything should be going well then this guy can also start building here and you want to focus a lot on the air where are my engines? here they are is he building by himself? oh I thought I had two engines building pigeons that's kinda bad but yeah, I can do something like this and it should be all pretty balanced oh boy the E is not looking too healthy but this is the B <laughs> <laughs> at least as far as I remember but I mean you get the first five minutes after that it depends on your decision is your opponent going heavy on air are they not going heavy on air etc etc uh, then you have idle engineers just go places with them uh, I think I should have had an engineer coming to this one maybe not but yeah as you can see we're actually doing really fine right now this hydro being built saved me quite a lot of trouble you also want to be assisting your air factory a lot and making sure you win air the game you're about to see because this build order is not by nexus it's by tagada uh tagada against tex you're gonna come to the realization that actually um once tex loses air that he just control case he surrenders because um, you can just bomb everything like it's very brutal once you have it so I would say like Tagada don't really build bombers Tex builds a lot of bombers and he loses air because of that but let's just jump into the replay now and let's see what actually happens okay hello everyone now we're gonna watch Tex against Tagada against Tex and as we saw earlier he's gonna send his two engineers here I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit because we're already sad on the build order he makes his pigeon, he makes his four pigeons sir factory, then this pigeon land factory, then he sets his engineer here to reclaim this. He doesn't make this one, oh well, I guess I made a mistake, but then he assists here, he does assist here, right? Okay, I did not, I did not mess that up. Let's speed it up a little bit more, it's a little bit slow. Because what with this analysis sort of thing we want to do is actually look at what they're doing rather than the first couple of five minutes of the BO because I already went through that. He does stop his air factory, that's why I reclaimed a little bit more here because he stalls E. But it's up to you. Then he sends his air scout all over the base. So he actually goes air scout first, but it's the same. He, he still makes three in this one air scout. Then this RT Dissui, he does send here early on. and nothing much happens for the first couple of minutes to be honest i mean he sends some units here to stop any possible raids he sends some units here to stop any possible raids he sends the acu here his units are reclaiming he's sending the engineers he sends one here and does this he sends the other one here i forgot about this one he sends another one here one of the three guys here before he needs to look this hold on a little bit i kind of forgot about this for a little bit um, you want to send one of your engineers from here all the way through here, like make this and then come make this. I forgot to queue those orders and then also make sure that your other engineer from here comes all the way here, makes this max, the other one makes this max, max hydro. And then if you come through here, try putting a waypoint here and then here so your units don't go across the lake like this and instead go through the middle and catch in anything that tries to pass through them. But other than that, as you can see, there's a lot of focus on air. Let's just zoom in through the bases. You can see clearly 
um, techs assisting heavily with four engineers. I'm pretty sure Tagada doing the exact same thing. Just as I said, he has two engineers on power. And he has five making a transport. And you can do that to drop here. Or you can be like Tex, who I believe has made a couple of bombers. Or is about to, yeah. He makes a couple of bombers, which I don't think is a... It's a it depends situation. Let me lower the volume a little bit of the game. It's a little bit of an if depends situation because if you make the bombers, you need to, you know, make sure to harass key engineers. For example, I'm pretty sure the one over here may have died or actually was made to assist his power. But you need to kill them before they are like too far. Like for example, this bomber. Had it killed these two engineers, it would have been really good. Sadly, it's too late, so it, its impact is not that good anymore. Or if this bomber manages to kill this transport, then it's really good. Otherwise, um, you have to make those bombers really early, or you risk making bombers. Your opponent makes inties, and they mo make more inties than you. They win air, they win game. But this is pretty much the map. It's not super interesting. You want to send more units here, uh, uh, units here and here, depending on to attack here or to defend this, depending on which side you are. Why? Simply because it's very difficult to retake this. Like you need to send the engineer and walk it all the way here, and that takes a lot of time. And I think that's also a big thing for Tex, who is missing this expansion and who's missing this expansion. It's pretty brutal. And he, he could have made a transport, but then again, a lot of units coming through here. And I believe, sadly, Tex is getting overrun by little raids like this. While Tex has a lot of production here, Taga that doesn't, and that probably explains... He, he has it here. That probably explains why he is able to like continue assaults here. And here's the big air fight. I'm gonna slow down the game. But yeah, big air fight happens as I miss it completely. And Tex is just wondering how many was it. And he's about to control K soon because he's missing this, he's missing this. He loses air. Now we're about to see our good friend Tagada throw an insane amount of bombers. And Tex now needs to protect this, needs to protect this, he needs to protect these units, he needs to protect anything coming through here this is very vulnerable this is very vulnerable as well all of these are things that are targets to bombers and what's even worse now um tagada has a free reign with a transport which i think is loading i don't know where his transport is but i don't know oh here we drop it's right here so as you can see there is really no threat to this it could be only land but he already has some land here and even if there's a big push uh, bombers will quickly deal with anything sort of attack and therefore that's why you want to win air because otherwise your opponent is going to start dropping where they can like here and build a PD soon I believe one of these days he's going to start building a PD and then it's like even harder to like get them out of here and as you can see there's one bomber over here I don't see there's two bombers in base three bombers coming out and Tex simply does not have any possible answer to this. Why? Because he has 5 inties, sadly, against Tagada's, let's say, 20. And therefore, Tagada can put pressure. Look at the amount of bombers coming out. Tagada can put pressure on all of this. Like this whole army, this is going to get run over. All of these mexes are targets now. This is a target too now. These armies need to have constantly anti-air to survive. And same thing, he can apply pressure all over the place with the bombers. While Tex must just make inties and he's just gonna lose the game because he doesn't have the capabilities to hold this down. Like, this is gonna die to this. This is gonna suffer a lot through this bomber. Then same over here, there's two bombers destroying any possible land armies. You cannot just beat that. It's just GG's. So forbidden pass. Air map, you win air, you start puking bombers, making a trance, and so on. Just make sure to not forget the land, because let's say you absolutely crush air, but you have no land. 
the the bombers are better over time rather than as an instant response so like if there's five tanks here tanks here you get tanks here tanks here then bombers are, are gonna take too long to solve the issue so you don't want to throw everything for the air if your opponent throws everything for the air same thing as you can see tagada here has tanks here he had a couple of tanks over here stopping this pass and so on so that's forbidden pass super air heavy but as you can see once you win air you go super heavy on bombers and this raid is non-existent this army is non-existent army here is non-existent as well and any intent to be offensive is not existent and even worse um Taga can send an air scout to this base and just absolutely demolish the the air from Tex. he could just send out his intis over here and absolutely crush this i'm pretty sure these bombers are just simply Tex. Giving up beforehand and not bothering to change the the queue to Intis only. But that's pretty much the map. Um, the biggest points of focus are this. This thing right here. This thing right here. I would say this too. Because if you manage to control yours like this. The corners in this map hold a lot of power. Because if you manage to hold your corner. You can keep your Formex expansion well. But not only that, if your opponent isn't able to hold their corner, then they're not able to secure this. And if you're able to move units through here, then with your ACU here, you can clearly secure this. And that's pretty much the map. You don't want to really build any sort of navy. Why? Because it, there aren't really any targets good for it. Like you may say here, but simply put, there's this big mountain. No frigate is going to do anything. You could build navy. Um, park a couple of frigates all over the place, you know, and control the, the water space from enemy air. It's really good. I would just say be awfully careful about it because obviously you're making this investment into Navy and your opponent could invest that into take two mexes, for example. And then they could have an eco lead and those frigates aren't really going to do much. Like, yes, they put some pressure, but if your opponent keeps, keeps calm and just, you know, ecos and maintains its own other positions, your navy investment isn't really gonna do much. Like yes, it grants you a lot of intel and quote unquote map control, but the eco is much better than spending 1k to 2k mass in frigates on the middle of the map. Or even like take to land. There's like a lot of other things you can do to invest that mass, like make more tanks and just crush here or crush here, etc. etc. So I would not advise making navy. But that's the video. Thank you so much, guys. If you have any feedback or critiques, please let me know. And have a nice day.